Hello, welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the Sandwich Book of 1900, we're going to be making the Johnny Bull Sandwich. And uh, no, it is not the John Bull Sandwich uh, from Blackburn that's just, you know, east of Preston in the UK. This is a different kind of sandwich. Okay, first... And welcome back to another patented Sandwiches of History voiceover. Uh, it said to put meat through a food chopper. I don't have a food chopper. I have a mini prep pro. I also uh, have to chop up some celery. And, of course, uh, chop up some cooked macaroni. That's right. Cooked macaroni going in a sandwich. All right. So we got a cup of chopped beef. It said to add one-third that amount uh, of chopped celery. And, of course, one-third that amount of our chopped macaroni. Then we add in some onion juice, which you can buy, but you can also make it by grating an onion and squeezing. Uh, and then it said to add enough mayonnaise. Well, hope that's enough. <laughs> hey, it was. All right, so we put that on the bread. Okay, so let's give this Johnny Bull sandwich a go. Wait, this reminds me of something. I'm pointing at the sandwich. It reminds me of a tuna fish sandwich. Uh, a tuna fish salad sandwich. It's got mayonnaise, it's got the onion, it's got celery. It's actually pretty good, but I do want to plus it up with one thing, though. Yeah, Grillo's Pickles flavored dill, pickle flavored potato chips from Boulder Canyon. Okay, let's give this Johnny Bull sandwich plussed up with... The, no, wait, I screwed that up. Let's try that again. Okay, let's give this Johnny Bull sandwich plussed up with... God, dropping food everywhere. You know what it's plussed up with. Let's give it a go. Yum, 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 yum. That is tasty. So now you get dill, you get potato, you get a little bit of salt, and you get a textural element with a crunch. Okay, so the original Johnny Bull sandwich, it was pretty good. Um, I liked it, actually. Uh, it did remind me of a tuna fish salad sandwich with the onion and the celery, but it was with beef. Um, go figure. I, you know, I thought that was a pretty tasty combination. I'm going to go ahead and give that, I'm going to give that a seven. And plus up with the uh, Grillo's Pickles potato chips uh, from Boulder Canyon. That's like an eight, eight and a half. That is just so good. That is so tasty. Textural element, dill, uh, just really makes the sandwich into something really tasty. I'm definitely going to finish that, and I would make this again in a hot second. <laughs> See you tomorrow.